Later tonight in Channel 8's programming lineup, join in the madcap fun with Love That Adolf, starring Darren Ingram and Kimberly Reha. Tonight, watch the fur fly when the Gurrings come over for dinner and Eva leaves the Jews in the oven too long. But now on Channel 8, the Abbey of the Lemur. while we were down there we made the acquaintance of an exotic animal merchant and so anyway we had all these jackals and and it's just like hi watch our jackals we'll be back in a week and we're sitting there with these goddamn jackals running amok in an apartment in Guadalajara you know and it's like what the hell are we gonna do with all these jackals you know and so the transvestite that I'm hanging with, you know, she's like, well, let's train them to pick tourist pockets, you know, it's <laughs> like, you know, look, you know, I've, um, I've worn a lot of hats, I've done a lot of things in my life, but I'm not a jackal trainer, you know, I don't have a license for this, you know, and uh, so anyway, Guadalajara got interesting real quick, what with the jackals and everything, but, um, but no, it was an adventure. We got some horse and uh, brought them back, and they're totally wigged out by the jackals, you know. And and I didn't know enough Spanish to try to talk them into committing acts with the jackals, you know. And it just wasn't panning out. And so anyway, we. Uh, we like the jackals up in this room, about the size of a broom closet. <laughs> so it's like this broom closet full of jackals, you know. And and we've got these hordes, and uh, so it got just um, incredibly interesting. And so and the whole time that we're conducting our business with the hordes. The jackals are yipping and yapping in the closet, you know, howling like we're strangling them. I mean, you know, it's a horrifying noise. And, you know, and nobody's saying anything. You know, I figured the cops would have been called about, what, I don't know, a hundred times by now. And, no, you know, it's just like, this is just another day in Guadalajara, you know. And, uh, but another I mean, day in the biggest, in the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, jackal piracy preserve there is. 
Yeah, you know. And so anyway, um, there's not too much uh, I can say to augment the story except whores and jackals, you know, don't usually mix, you know. And uh, which reminds me of a line that um, you, dear cameraman, and I both saw on the internet. And we're sitting there, okay, we were in a public computer lab one time. Um, and we're looking, at, you know, I don't stare at what other people in a public lab have on their screen, but I just couldn't help but notice this one. And, uh, and of course, being the considerate, um, tactful soul that I am, I'm nudging everybody that's sitting next to me, hey, look what's on her screen. And it's this, you know, blonde sorority bimbo. And on her screen is this thing that just says, I swear, most dogs do not like anal sex. This really happened. Folks. Really? We're not joking. And, you know. <laughs> and then she's looking at. But it's it, good to know. It's good that it, this is, you know. You should flash this on the screen now. Most dogs do not like anal sex. And this is a tip from me to you. Or actually from the internet to uh, any random schmuck who wants to see it. Most dogs do not like anal sex. But then she scrolls down and it's like pictures of people humping dogs. Well, you know, after a while, probably because we're snickering like preschoolers, she gets wise to the fact that by now like 50 people are over her screen staring at her, you know, as she looks at pictures of people hunting dogs. And so, uh, for some reason, she got really incredibly embarrassed and ran <coughs> out of the lab, gazoongai. And so... People are so people are so bad to sorority girls. Oh, I know it. Um, gen generally, I'm kind-hearted to them, and, and to the few I've lynched in my youth, I apologize. But, you know, I mean, to the few you've lynched, but, you know, to the few you've raped, it's a whole different story. Well, they asked for it. But, and somebody gave me a... Hey, no means no, Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> but, unless you're a bimbo and then you deserve it. Insert giant disclaimer here. Insert nails in my palm and a wooden board here. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so anyway, oh, the alien. Heartwarming insincerity of it all. <laughs> I'm a veritable wellspring of insincerity. <laughs> Whatever. Take 3003. <laughs> it was kind of the typical story. I was having trouble with my bitch. Um, she just kept yakking and yakking and yakking at me and she wouldn't shut up. And, uh, pulled out all kinds of restraining orders and everything else. She was crazy. I didn't know how to deal with her. My root man said try to destroy everything. So I did. And the results were amazing. Now look at her. Next time you've got a problem with people, go for destroy everything. That's my personal recommendation.
ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Mr. Allergy. Hey, just call me Puff Daddy. Don't you wish you had eyes like me? You'll remember these eyes. These eyes will be burned into your consciousness long after you forgot all that Holocaust footage. Mr. Puffy. Mr. Puffy. This is what comes of, uh, of fondling dogs. Fondling happy, affectionate dogs who fuck the Pope on their days off. I was born this way. You know, it's kind of like uh, when you talk to, like, you know, like a fascistic right-wing Christian, uh, I don't know, homophobes and racists and whatever else, and they talk to you. You know, wife-beating child haters, and they go ranting about, you know, how their views are right and everything else. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, you really can't blame them because they were born that way, you know, or they weren't really born that way. Actually, you should just kind of, you know, hang them out to dry because they weren't born that way, you know. I mean, it's a choice. You know, being being an inbred bigot is a choice. <laughs> you girls should all come and join my cult. You should all come join the Abbey of the Lemur. Come join the cult. I got a place for all of you. You know, I mean, I might be a failure in just about damn near anything, but I have one marketable talent, and it involves my mouth. And even though my eyes are weird and soggy and oozing pus and everything else, God damn it, I'm good with my mouth, and you should keep it in mind. I can do really great things, and I can make you a very happy girl. There are lesbians who will vouch for my mouth. Thank you for that promotional word. <laughs> I want to wake up. In a city that never sleeps. Sing it, brother. To find I'm a number one. Top of the heap. These little town blues are melting away. I want to make a brand new start of it. In old New York, and uh, if I can make it there, you know, I can spill my seed damn near anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. And that concludes our word from Mr. New Allergy. York. This concludes our broadcast to Oceania.
I'm <laughs> I'm the steaming mother load <laughs> of insincerity. And you can take that to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> You've got my word on it. My word, that's about as good as, I don't know, salted squag out of the oven. <laughs> my reputation as a gentleman. <laughs> Pretty pathetic, isn't it? 5 a.m., I'm sitting here laughing at my own honor and virtue. <laughs> Um, which vanished somewhere along with my virginity. I left them all in a. I left it in a broom closet, and I just can't find it anywhere. But, uh, oh yeah, and you can't put condoms on dingoes. It just doesn't work. <laughs> you try and you try, but you know it just doesn't work. Dogs not only do not like anal sex, but uh, did I say dingoes? I meant jackals. But dingoes probably don't. Dingoes, well, what are dingoes? They're just Australian jackals. Yeah, and and none of them like rubbers. So, um, so along with the initial caveat, dingoes and jackals do not practice safe sex. This is true, and so along with the initial caveat. Dogs do not enjoy anal sex. We should say that dogs also do not enjoy latex-based condoms. Um, well, it's not like you see them going down to the 7-Eleven and picking up a pack, you know? Oh, oh you want rubber? <laughs> It'd be like a lassie barking in Morse code or something, you know?